Today I would like to cover the structure and sequence of the Inventor Bill of Material. I'm not sure if you are aware, but the structure set at the top level assembly doesn't persist in the sub-assemblies and there's no way to link them. But however, I have a trick on restructuring that I would like to share with you. I could think of doing it with iLogic to get the item number from the top level bill of material and assign it into the sub-assemblies. But what if you have reused components in different places? What item number would we give it? What if one assembly you decide to change a part or an occurrence to phantom or reference? Well, this doesn't work. Um, for now, I'm going to leave the question open. Maybe some of you have the answer or maybe you're willing to share your tricks or how you're dealing with this. But let me show you a workaround that I haven't thought of posting bef before because I've been doing it so often it became second nature and it didn't occur yet others are unaware of it. Unfortunately, because the BOM item number is controlled at the assembly level, you need to do this for each assembly that you want to restructure. It has always been a pain to do this, especially on large assemblies, but it takes seconds to fix this. So normally, in the top level assembly, right at the end, when the project is done, I follow these steps. First, I go into Bill of Materials in the assembly and enable the Structured View and change it to show all level in the View Properties. Then what you want to do is right click on the columns and select runtime column customization, add BOM structure, component type and file path. Then what I like to do is use sort items and sort by. The first column would be boom structure in an ascending order. This way you will have normal parts at the top and purchased phantom reference parts towards the end. The second column that you want to sort by is component type, ascending as well. This, this puts the assemblies and sub-assemblies at the top and parts at the end. And the last column that you want to sort by is file path, ascending. This kind of makes it neat uh, for example, all the library items will be sorted by uh, their file name and if you have unique uh, part number and file names into your project, it will sort by that as well. So click OK to finish this, uh, the, the, the sorting and then go to renumber items. Make sure that it's set to renumber all rows, specify your start, I have it on one, and increment, I have it on one again and click OK. Unfortunately, because each level can have suppressed hidden components, this so you can generate a different structure, the component number is not linked between different levels. But it takes a second to do this on sub-assemblies and sort them out too. And the item number should correspond because you use same sort order. Hope it makes sense, let me know how that goes for you and please post back uh, your tricks and how you're dealing with this. Thanks.